morning everybody happy sunday i hope you're having a good day uh, wherever you are uh, i'm back in my office this morning uh, and uh, right over my shoulder uh, is uh, a photograph of elizabeth bishop who is um, the inspiration for this poem that i'm going to read you today uh, the epigraph for this poem uh, comes from her poem sandpiper uh, and if you know me or if you've ever heard me talk about my poetry life, uh, you know that she is my uh, absolute favorite. I have a tattoo of one of her, a line from one of her poems on my back shoulder. Um, <laughs> so I don't think it gets probably much more, uh, there's not much more uh, devotion than that. Uh, and I've read... Um, her poems many, many, many times over. And she's sort of the first poet that when I was an undergraduate and I took this poetry class that I I really um, connected with. And I've read a lot of her letters uh, and uh, looked at a lot of her paintings. She was a painter too. And actually um, on the collected, so this is my copy of the collected Elizabeth Bishop poems. And that painting right there is actually a painting that she did. Uh, so she was a, a really um, kind of interesting, uh, somewhat, um, I think, unfortunate soul during certain points in her life, uh, but also, I think, um, experienced real joy and sort of happiness, too. And I think she's a really um, interesting person. I think she's a great poet. Uh, and I really, um, I find her work uh, interesting and um, sort of... A lot more complex I think than people would necessarily uh, give it credit for uh, and so I, I also like teaching her poems and I find that my uh, my students really enjoy her poetry too so her poem uh, Sandpiper is uh, partially the inspiration for my poem today snail shell which I'm going to read to you and I was looking through the poems that I'm gonna read over the next couple of days uh, and I think like most people your poems kind of fall into themes, whether you realize it or not, your subconscious kind of does that work for you. So uh, I would say that in the Brie poetry uh, sort of collection, we are moving into what I would call sort of family poems. And there's a whole bunch because uh, I write a lot about my family. Uh, so this particular poem, Snail Shell, um, features my sister. <clears throat> uh, and so uh, it'll sort of kick us off on that on that theme. So this is my poem, Snail Shell, and the epigraph from Elizabeth Bishop reads, the world is a mist, then the world is minute and vast and clear. Fingers sift through shells, stones, and beach glass. It has been two years since we walked the shore. Sandpipers and sanderlings are restless guides across a wet gray plain Back and forth they gather at the surf's edge like living lace. We are specters in the fading light, wandering the beach in vain, hunching low to paw thick shell beds. Usually, you prefer the deep blue of open oysters, but now you are looking for perfection, concise, concentric circles that spiral into one another, a pinwheel of the sea. You found one, almost whole, nestled inside a clamshell and dug it out, marveled at its design, cradled against your chest as if that small shell could comfort your anxious mind. You continue to scrutinize sand, looking for a match. You spot a slight spiral, lean down to find it broken by the sea, so you toss it back and walk on. So that's my poem, Snail Shell. Uh, and I also chose it today because it has been some time since I have been to the beach, uh, and I live in Indiana, which is in the Midwest, which is landlocked, uh, so really the only sort of waves I see very often are sort of when the wind moves through the corn, <laughs> so I don't see a lot of water, and I love water, uh, and I love to swim, and I love the beach, uh, and I have no doubt that I'll get back there again, but seeing as how we're all housebound, uh, it's nice to sort of have, I think, this imagery as well. So happy Sunday, folks, uh, and I will talk to you soon.